This finish up presentation of Days of Aldor Homex. It's a New York Stock Exchange listed company trading our ticker HXM. You can see this is a look at a nine month chart. Just a huge drop in share value from up near $10 all the way down to $1. Obviously, aligning this chart as a true bottom play. But I do want to note a pretty strong support at $1.08 and two straight green closes on Thursday and Friday to wrap last week. Is enough to put this chart on radar to start the week and see if it's going to make a bounce off this support because at these levels, percentage gains can come relatively quickly. MACD just trending sideways, did drop a bullish cross to kick off December. That's an optimistic sign, but obviously you want to see it over the zero mark and holding that point. What I think is most notable here is a positive divergence as the MACD has been trending up, price per share has been trending down. That's something to always pay attention to for a potential overall reversal in the chart. PPO also dropped a bullish cross. ADX is in a pretty decent position for a reversal. I'd look for the ADX itself to rebound through here, continue on an upward path, See this green line, the positive DI, break up through the ADX and through the negative DI to show that there's strength being added to the upward direction. I'm a bit concerned that the 7 MFI is starting to pull so far away from the 14 and 21. A lot of times when I see that happen, something like that will follow as the three components will converge. They tend to not want to trend really far apart from each other. So with that, we might see a little pullback in the MFI. But in the bigger picture, I'm looking forward to break this path that's been holding below 50. And all three components move to the upside of the indicator to show that people are paying higher prices for the stock. Accumulation distribution, holding a pretty ugly downward path. There's not been a lot of buying going on in this stock over the last year, but perhaps the earliest sign of life with a little bit of an upward move to wrap up last week. Again, going along with the bottom support, worth paying attention to. And I noticed from the shake and money flow, sharp move back towards zero. That's just telling me that buying and selling pressure is equalizing over 20 period increments. And obviously it'd be a bullish sign to see the shake and money flow break back above zero and hold above that level some place that spent very little time this year to show that buying pressure is actually outweighing selling pressure. CCI making higher lows over the last month showing the price is now approaching its 20 day mean. Full stow still down in bear chart territory but giving hints that a little bit of momentum is building and the tricks also in a bearish position but looks like a bullish cross could be coming and again in the bigger picture could be looking for a higher low to be made and see the tricks move back towards zero to show that some sort of a bullish trend is building. Relative strength index, 7 just now broke through 50. Again, like so many other indicators, it's just simply bearish when it's trending below 50. I want to see all three components above that 50 mark to show that the bulls are taking control of momentum. But we are seeing early on signs anyways of some momentum building. Now most importantly here is that bottom support at $1.08. For me, that absolutely must stay intact. Stock closed at $1.22 on Friday. Not really any liquidity issues in this. 1.4 million shares traded is plenty of volume. See the stock is pressing on this purple line. It's a 20-day moving average. Represents the middle of the Bollinger Bands. Parabolic SAR is right there in front of it. If the stock can put together a push, it'll flip the parabolic SAR. It'll come back down to this $1.08 mark. It'll reinforce that area as a stop loss point. Of course, you want to see the candles trading on the upper half of the Bollinger Bands. And that means moving above this 20-day moving average. So there's a lot of little things going on that are kind of important for this chart to start to take on a more bullish look. Now from a resistance standpoint, have to note that the stock is facing a resistance point right now. As this area was serving as some support in July and August and even right through that general area back in November. Well, I wouldn't consider that a primary source of resistance by any stretch of the imagination. It is an important point for the chart to push through, given not only the static resistance, but also the parabolic SAR and the 20-day moving average. So we're looking for upward pressure to break through that point. A more substantial level of resistance is going to come in around $1.50. There's the 50-day moving average, and that was an area of support, again, back in August and in October, and again, slightly in the beginning part of November. So I consider that a pretty important point. It would be a much tougher area of resistance. But in the short term, that's a more than 20% upside to any real resistance levels. And that goes along the lines with what I opened this video with. Percentage gains can come pretty quickly when you start getting down near the dollar mark. Now if it should break through that, we could be looking at an overall reversal in the chart and this being a true bottom. I'd expect some more resistance to come in up around $2, but I'd look for a real heavy level starting up around $2.60 and running up to around $2.94, $2.95, somewhere in that area. Clearly that's a long ways away from current levels. If that 260 mark was pretty formidable back in September and the 290, 295 mark was serving as a little bit of support in June and July. So that in general is going to be a pretty tough spot for it. As far as classic bottom plays go, this has a pretty nice look. The indicators look like they're trying to shift into some sort of bullishness. 
and the small move upward to end last week is enough to say pay attention to me this week and see where the stock goes. As always, merely my interpretation of the HXM chart. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.